I think this is going to be quite a useful video for most guys who are considering doing daytime cold approaching, but they don't quite know where to start. Now, there is so much content on the internet, but I don't think a lot of it, though, really caters to the guys who really suffer from social anxiety and they just don't know how to get started or the idea of going out and talking to women when they just haven't got the confidence to do it can certainly create that rubber band effect and can make them even more terrified to go out and do it even if they are doing it with friends even if it's with a coach or let alone even if they're trying to do it on their own so i've got three exercises here that I think are for anyone to do. This is literally like the most beginner stuff, but can really just get you started and getting that ball rolling with wanting to go and talk to people. So I'm gonna already state now, I'd love for you to try and do all of these exercises if you can. It's not a problem if you can't. And certainly that there will be guys who might find that they do struggle being able to do all of these three. And if that is the case, I want you to know that that is absolutely fine. It just means that you've got a little bit of extra work that you're going to need to do to actually get yourself to the same level as everyone else. But that doesn't mean that you should consider yourself written off or a failure or that you're not going to succeed. I hate that kind of thinking and it is a limiting belief that is only going to stop you from inevitably getting success. So the first exercise that I want you to consider is just going out and getting used to social environments. Hopefully go somewhere where it's a nice public space and just walk around. Just get used to the environment, get used to the sounds and the sights that you can see, hearing people talking and shouting, walking at different speeds, fast and slow, even the cars that are going by and the buses and the birds flying by as well. Maybe there's even bright lights, maybe you can see the sun in the distance, maybe there is a busker on the street playing music. Just get used to being in a public space. And I suggest this even as just the first exercise because people are, I think maybe a bit too comfortable with staying indoors and not going out and being around uh, social environments. It's all too easy that, you know, when you've been doing a nine to five job and then when you're all finished, you just end up heading home. Perhaps maybe you don't end up going out to the, uh, the bars and clubs because you just don't prefer them. Maybe you have just a very limited social circle of friends. If that at all, sadly, that does happen with people. But you find that you are just going from one location to another and spending a lot of time on your own. Now, being able to at least go out in public is a huge stepping stone, I know, for a lot of men, especially men who are very socially anxious and they don't like being out in public. But the reality is, is that unfortunately you can't hide from life. You have to actually put yourself out there and you have to kind of go to life and you also have to let life come to you if I'm going to stick with a very metaphorical uh, topic here. But at least putting yourself out there, getting used to this environment is going to help to desensitize you to it. So when you do in time get to that point that you are ready to start talking to strangers, even if it's as simple as asking for directions or giving a compliment, at least you are feeling a little bit more in uh, you're going to sit more in comfort, I think is probably the phrase I'm looking for here. You are going to sit more in comfort knowing that you are in a social environment and that is okay. It's not as scary as you might think. Uh, I think when people do spend a lot of time indoors, you're not used to being in like noisy environments or even like the smells and things that you might also get uh, from an area as well. You just get very comfortable being in your own space. So that will be my first exercise for you. Just put yourself in an environment and walk around. For how long? Uh, it doesn't really matter too much, but don't be spending literally all day walking around. Just walk around to that point until you feel that anxiety calming down. You feel yourself just relaxing a bit more into the environment and you feel a little bit more at ease. But 
of course we are only walking around so there is only going to be so much anxiety that you will probably experience be experiencing simply because you haven't actually challenged yourself yet but just know for some guys this is going to be a challenge just being in an environment like that now the second exercise if you are someone who does feel a lot of anxiety whilst you're walking around and even if you don't this I think is just a good exercise too we want to just learn to calm the physical symptoms of anxiety whilst we're out and about so the best thing to do here is to just take deep breaths almost give yourself a bit of a meditation and also learn to just walk at a slower pace as well and in doing so you're going to just bring yourself to this more grounded state that is going to just make you feel incredibly comfortable now again we aren't pushing our comfort zones really with anything yet but we can certainly, by bringing that anxiety down to a much more comfortable state, it can make it a little bit easier with going over and talking to people when you get to that stage. Because there's no real rush with this. It's more about finding a pace that works for you and also just not setting that expectation that as soon as you go out you have to be getting results i don't think that's fair and i don't think that also caters to every single man that's out there especially if not every man has a great social life there are guys who are very introverted and there are guys who just aren't really meeting people and don't really have any friends so this is a really good exercise just to calm yourself down take deep breaths maybe five seconds breathing in through the nose and exhaling for five seconds as well even looking at the buildings being very observational and just distracting your brain from trying to let those limiting beliefs or that inner dialogue kick in saying things that are going to just only knock you or put you down so i think that's probably a great exercise as a second one to do and with the third exercise this is going to be quite a challenge, I think, for a lot of men, but I want you to be getting comfortable holding eye contact with people and also smiling. So just starting with the smiling aspect here, if you're walking around with a little bit of a cheesy grin, so like nothing crazy, I'm not talking about like Joker style things here, which would be kind of scary and I think intimidating for a lot of people but I want you to just have a little bit of a cheeky smile as if like you've had a really really great day or maybe you've had a really great week and you've come out the house in a really good mood and even just that alone will just help to shift your physique into one that makes you feel a bit more positive makes you feel a little bit more uplifted and certainly it's also going to make you appear a lot more welcoming to people as you're going out around and looking for someone to go and potentially talk to so smiling is a really really big thing here but just a little smile nothing crazy we're not talking about forcing anything maybe even think about like the last time you heard a, a really good joke or maybe you thought of something funny or maybe you watched something funny recently but just that alone can be really good here just to get you into that that better mood and in regards to with the eye contact i think one of the hardest things for most men especially starting off is getting used to holding eye contact with strangers so why not get comfortable doing that before getting yourself into interactions where you are going to have to look at the women that you're speaking to you're going to have to hold eye contact if you want to create some kind of sexual tension between the two of you and hopefully end up building attraction so when you're walking around at a much more leisurely pace you've done your deep breaths you feel a lot more relaxed i want you to just try and look at people and set yourself the challenge of trying to hold eye contact with people if you're someone who's very anxious try and start with one second literally one second hold eye contact one second and then you can look away and that's what's called fractionating, where you end up breaking that rapport through eye contact, where you are diffusing whatever tension that has been created there. 
And I want you to just get used to it. You can have the, whatever kind of breather or break in between as long as you are in public, walking around, keeping yourself calm, maybe not necessarily staying around the same area, pacing up and down. Set yourself a route and walk through different areas, especially in London. There's so many places that you can go and explore. But just hold eye contact with people. Hold it for one second. And when that becomes easy, try and hold it for two seconds. And then when that becomes easy, try and hold it for three seconds. And if you can hold it longer than three seconds, then you are most certainly at that precipice of having that moment where you should be going over and then saying hello and then starting a conversation because you have formed such a bond through eye contact there you create something that's called a warm approach so what you're then doing is no longer going to be a cold approach you're actually kind of being given that invitation through eye contact to go over and say something because you don't hold eye contact with someone for three seconds unless you're attracted to them or unless you're kind of inviting some kind of opportunity or conversation to play out in that moment as well. Now, one thing that I will say, which I didn't actually mention on my second point, is that I don't want you to listen to music. The problem when you end up putting headphones in and you listen to music, however calming or soothing the music might be or uplifting and motivation or whatever, when you put music on, you are shutting the world out around you and you are closing in and honing in only on the music and I want you to certainly be heightening your senses and allowing your senses to be desensitized to the environment because that will also help with catering to keeping that anxiety more at bay and also when you are listening to music it's very easy to kind of switch off and not really think about or process things that you want to be doing so you know i find if i'm actually on the underground if i listen to music you know the whole of the underground carriage just sort of like disappears to me i just sort of like phase it out i go into an autopilot and then i almost kind of like switch off so let's say if someone were to come over and ask me a question like oh uh, does this train go to so and so my brain just isn't firing and I'm not actually thinking in that moment. Maybe you've even experienced this yourself as well, but your brain isn't yet got that ball rolling and going like, oh, right, okay, I can think on the spot, I can be creative and I know how to answer if I were to have a conversation with someone. So keep yourself present by not listening to music. Allow yourself to take in the environment, Be in a public space, go and walk around at a leisurely pace, be aware of everything around you, all of the sights and sounds that you can see and hear, and then also get used to smiling and holding eye contact with people. Now, if this is a challenge for you, Hopefully I'm going to at some point make a video of this exercise or of these three exercises in London. I'm going to try and see if I can get a cameraman to do this. Otherwise, I might tempt to just sort of do it myself and look like the crazy person holding my uh, my big DSLR uh, on a, a tripod and then do it that way. But we'll, we'll see with that. But I'm going to try and do an exercise or show this off so at least you can kind of see this um, or what this will look like rather than me just sort of sitting here. But if you are someone who struggles with this, then definitely I do suggest that you end up looking to get some kind of help. Whether you want to either go to me or you want to go to a dating coach to help you with these issues, that is absolutely fine. But I think it's definitely worth you seeking a professional or an expert who can just help you with these more foundational things because I would certainly say that these are the things that you really need to be able to get comfortable with first if you want to go out and do daytime cold approaching. You know, if you can't hold on eye contact with people or if you're not comfortable being in public then it's going to be very very difficult for you to want to stop and have full-on conversations with people and flirt and have banter and ask for phone numbers and be cheeky and, and whatnot too it's going to be very difficult to build your confidence and I do believe in having that foundation there to just help But again, everyone's going to be at their own pace and some men are more sociable than others. So 
if you need help, definitely have a look in the description below. I do offer life coaching services as well as integral eye movement therapy to help you with this stuff. And I am going to be offering street coaching, which I have called dating desensitization therapy, which is essentially kind of doing day game and doing daytime cold approaching but on a much more foundational level so if you are interested in that definitely have a look at my new website hopefully by the time this video comes out in about a week or so um, the new website should be up and running and also I'd love to hear your thoughts on this video and how maybe some of these exercises worked for you too did you get to try these how did they work how did they make you feel as well was it easy was it a struggle I'd love to know and in fact the more you're able to share the more it's going to be able to help other men as well who might be struggling too so if you can please like the video subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on more content that i can hopefully put out to help you with your anxiety and of course as well if you have any ideas of specific things that you'd love for me to make that's going to help you with your problems then i would love to be able to do them i really want the channel to be helping you guys and catering to your issues rather than me going through things that i know you guys need help with i'd rather help with those specific problems first if I can so other than that I've been Dan that dating anxiety guy thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more anxiety videos coming from me in the near future